Hi, it's Ryan from ADHD Dude. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to ask you, are you able to stay on message with your son or daughter, or do you tend to get sucked into the argument vortex that leads to nowhere? You know, one of the things that I see happen with parents all the time, and I even see it in my office, is that when their child, you know, wants something or they hear no and they don't like the answer they're receiving, they start arguing about it, you know, and then the parent, you know, starts giving them reasons, or the parent starts trying to use logic to reason with them. Okay, and then that conversation often goes into these tangents, you know, so the conversation can start off about, you know, why can't I have Fortnite tonight? And the parent will say, well, you had three hours last night. And then the kid will say, yeah, but I want to play. Oh, and also my brother did this and you didn't get him in trouble for that. And then the parent responds to that, you know, and they get in these, well, I call it the vortex because they get in these conversations that often go off on tangents that are not even about the original topic, you know, but the kid somehow finds a way to circle back to that eventually. But the parent is just strung along the whole time for this ride um, you know on this argument that needs leads to nowhere so my message for you is to understand number one you know if your child has ADHD they hyper focus on things that are interesting to them or, imp or are important to them so if he or she you know really wants something is focusing on it and starts debating you about it what you need to do is stay on message with your answer okay so if you say no say no give a reason why once and then don't try to reason with them don't try to use logic because here's the thing when they're hyper focused or if they have difficulty hearing no because they're inflexible your hyper focusing on them is not going to, I'm sorry you're trying to use logic with them is not going to change their mind right no matter how much logic you try to use it's not going to change their mind here's the other thing if your child struggles with perspective taking so understanding how he or she comes across to others and understanding others thoughts and feelings then he or she is not going to be able to understand your perspective so when you're trying to use that logic it's not besides the fact he's it's not working because he or she is not going to listen it's not working because they can't take your perspective on this right so what you want to do, again, is you say no, you can give a reason why. If you want to say, because I said so, that's fine too. You know, you're a parent, you have authority, and you do not have to justify your, your reasons always to your child. If you want to explain it to them, that's fine, okay? But one of the things I see um, with parents a lot, and I think this is a generational issue, is that a lot of parents, they, you know, they mistake their child's, you know, ability to articulate themselves or their intellect for maturity, so they feel like they have to give them, you know, this um, log logical answer, or they have to elaborate on why they're saying no to try to get the kid to understand it and say, oh, okay, well, I get it now, and that's not going to happen. So keep your answer short, stay on message. If you keep getting the same question over and over, then what I will say is, say, you know, I've told you three times why I gave you this answer, so after this, I'm not going to answer again, and if you keep asking, just understand, I'm not ignoring you. I'm choosing not to answer you because you already have the answer. And now it's time to get your brain unstuck from the answer. And, you know, what I would also say for the kids I work with, I would say, so it's time to use your inner coach to talk to your brain and help you get unstuck from the fact that you're not going to get what you want right now. Because that's part of life. We, we all sometimes don't get what we want, you know, on a daily basis, really, right, that that happens, okay? So the other analogy I always give to parents is think of yourself like this. When you have to deliver a message that your child doesn't like, think of yourself as a press secretary, right? Press secretaries stay on message, they say something, they don't get sucked into provocative questions from reporters, or they don't go off on tangents. You know, they stay on the message and it's very clear and it's clean and they know how to do that. And you need to do the same and you can do the same, okay? So stop getting pulled into the argument vortex of the into the vortex of going off on these tangential arguments about other things that your child is is you know thinking about we're trying to make points about all right and just stay on message and be clear and concise and remember a lot of times with communication less is more and I have to say you know a lot of times I will see you know parents who are very kind of logical themselves they you know they sometimes just you know try over and over to use this logic and it's just not necessary and it doesn't work all right I hope this is helpful and I will speak to you soon take care bye-bye